Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to War Thunder with yours truly WBE886. Now today we're going to be flying out the Meteor, or the Sea Meteor, um, to be specific. Sea uh, Meteor F3 on Korea uh, against the Russians. Um, things to note about the Sea Meteor now. It's good. <laughs> um, this thing has had a significant flight model boost and it is basically Britain's best jet pretty much um, it is an extremely capable machine it can fight with MiGs and kill them uh, granted in this I'm only facing off against MiG 9s and LA-174s I believe uh, but the point remains that it is a very capable machine um, I mean granted it can't really perform with um, with MiG 15s and Sabres but it if you catch them off guard it can do damage um, fun little fact in this video I've actually completely overhauled uh, the sounds so I've kind of basically put my own sound effects in uh, for this one uh, the only stock sounds you will hear are the guns and the normal engine sound that the uh, that the um, Meteor has. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, the Meteor's a really nice plane. I highly suggest you go out and get it if you haven't already or if you're grinding it. Uh, the first Meteor isn't all that great, but the um, the Meteor F... Uh, the, Ma the Meteor F3, uh, the first Meteor isn't all that great, but the Sea Meteor is terrific. Uh, so is the Meteor F4. Um, both very good, very good jets. Um, for their tier, anyway. Uh, I would like to still see things like the Supermarine Swift and the uh, Hawker Hunter put in eventually, uh, but that will be a while yet because balancing issues, of course. Uh, although I don't see there being any issue in the balancing, if I'm honest. Um, I think it would make a terrific addition to the game. So, yeah, um, I hope they do eventually put the Meteors, uh, sorry, the Hawker Hunter and the Swift in uh, soon, hopefully, uh, if we're lucky. I would like to see that in game, um, but yeah, the meteors are fun planes, and you go should go check them out and don't underestimate them because they are capable machines. Anyway, guess I pro should probably talk about Duxford on Sunday. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you to everyone who turned up to say hi to us. Um, I'm sure I know Ollie took tons of pictures. Um, those will be going up on Facebook and Twitter at some point. Um, so s make sure you um, stick around for that. Because, uh, it, it, seriously, it was actually really good um, going there, meeting Ollie and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, what can I say? <laughs> Ducksford was an amazing day. Ollie's going to be having footage put, or Squire's going to be having um, footage put on his channel. Um, because I didn't have any camera to film with, so there's going to be no footage on my channel of the D-Day Air Show. There might be a Bobbington if I go Tank Fest this year, uh, which would be nice. I'm sure you guys would appreciate that. But yeah, I mean, good things to come in the future. Um, I thought I was going to kind of actually get out and do a video today, because I wasn't originally. I was like, ugh, I'm too tired. But I thought, you know what, I have some spare Meteor gameplay. I'll just, like, play that to you. Uh, if you're wondering what the skin is, it's my own custom one, uh, not available at all, it's for me only, so yeah, um, but I mean, it's good fun, uh, making skins and stuff like that, I hope you guys enjoyed the vampire skin I released on War Thunder Live last night, if you haven't already, check that out, um, link will be in the description below if any of you are vampire pilots, but, um, oh, excuse me, I can tell I'm tired, but yeah, um, about that skin, that's going to be in a pack, uh, Duxford D-Day Air Show pack, or a Duxford uh, Imperial War Museum pack, uh, that's going to be coming out on the channel soon, which features a load of skins from Imperial War Museum Duxford, which is nice, uh, gives it, like, Duxford its own little skin pack, if, that's, if that explains it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, um, Meteors, lovely planes, always good fun, uh, big nines. Good planes as well. Uh, it was a MiG-9 that killed me in the end um, because of the shotgunniness of the Hispano Mark Vs. 
But yeah, uh, Meteor's lovely planes. Uh, I'll tell you what, the sound of the Eurofighter yesterday was absolutely amazing. Um, it was extremely loud and it was totally worth going to listen to that. Um, definitely puts on a show and uh, definitely makes things interesting. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this little quick little video. Uh, not much really, just just showing you the Meteor, the, C the new C Meteor's flight model and stuff like that. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you click that like button below. Subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder content, stuff like that. Take care guys. I will see you next time.